Dear Magic Gods, I just want to thank all the haters out there. Because the more haters I have, it means I'm doing something really good. And for that, I feel blessed. Bless all my hater hearts who downvote this video. And downvote every video they see the moment it drops. And all the negative comments they leave, some of them get automatically picked up and thrown in the trash basket. But all the ones that make it through and that are just terrible and cringeworthy to read, thank you. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Let's go, baby. What is this? We are looking at Explorers of Ixalan and uh, Dallin Nelson. Dallin Nelson, thank you for uh, allowing me to crack this open. Um, he actually uh, got this in an auction, won in an auction, and uh, his donation would go to my uncle, um, his GoFundMe. So thank you so much for doing that. This is a long time coming. Holy crap. But we are going to open this. Um, there's actually some valuable cards inside of here, which I'll show you guys. But I just wanted to make a quick like eight or nine minute video just to show off what one of these is. It came out in 2017. It's actually a game you can play, which is nuts. Play as one of four rival tribes, vampires, pirates, merfolk, or dinosaur riders. Explore the tile-based uh, map, uncovering bonuses that will swing tide of battle in your favor. Discover the lost city of Oraska to, uh, to gain unimaginable power. Defend the city against your rivals and claim dominion over Ixalan. Pretty freaking cool. There's the contents inside of here. Let's just crack one open. I'm going to be sending this out to my friend, uh, my friend Dallin. He's been waiting for this for three months. <laughs> it's, it's that bad. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Guys, this week I'm going on vacation. So at the time you're seeing this, I may or may not be uh, already in, in Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, me and the woman have decided it's finally time we take a break. And uh, yeah, we are doing it, baby. We are doing big freaking things. Um, just want uh, a big thanks to the following people as well. I hope I get this all right. Uh, Brad Sowerby, Andrew Bauk, Kevin Newman, Caitlin uh, Heaslett, Andy D. Torres, an anonymous donor, another anonymous donor, uh, David Solari, Kevin Rose, Latney Porter, Gerard Fredet, Fredetti, Aaron Karate, Hans Skubert, Adam Thorman, and Zach Martin. Uh, thank you to those uh, individuals for making uh, this possible. Also, thank you to Dallin uh, Nelson for allowing me to open this. Um, but thank you for making uh, my vacation possible. Really, really freaking cool, guys. I needed a vacation after all the crazy stuff that happens. Um, and you guys made it what it is. Thank you so freaking much. Let's get up into this. I'll have pictures and all types of stuff. A lot of it's going to be leaked onto uh, uh, Patreon is where I'll drop the majority of it. Um, I might include a couple little pictures here and there uh, or video on the channel at random throughout, you know, the year. But that's about it. All right. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff here. Some of these cards are worth a freaking pretty penny, man. Before we get into the cards, let's open this up and take a good look. No one really opens these things. I don't think anyone's ever opened this on camera before. So we're going to be opening it on camera. Uh, Ixalan was a pretty cool set. It introduced a lot of dinosaurs. I think it was the first time we saw dinosaurs as a recognized tribe, maybe? I could be wrong about that, but I doubt it. So, there you go. Um, but there's even older cards that are dinosaurs that are now upgrade, or that were like beasts or something, and they got upgraded to dinosaurs. So, that's pretty neat. So, here's everything that comes inside of one of these guys. All the rules. There's not too many, actually. So it should be a rather uh, simple game to figure out and play. How about that, huh? That is pretty cool. I'll leave this right here if anyone else wants to pause it. There you go. That's for you, Mr. Pause, who wants to read how to play the game. Maybe you want to get one of these. And I'll leave this right here and pause it if you want to check it out. There you go. And I'll pause that right there. Bada bing. Okay. So here's what you get inside. A bunch of tokens and stuff. I'm not going to pop any of these out. I'm going to leave this all how it is. Uh, but this is like, you know, your counters, your movement things, you know, however it goes. Uh, really, really freaking neat, though. Uh, backsides tell you uh, some skill sets, I believe. There you go. 
uh, or what happens, you know, an ability that would, uh, that would take place here. Might of the Sun Empire. Create a dinosaur token, then put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Um, Lee at the gates. Uh, it's an event. There you go. Just a whole bunch of different kind of cool stuff that comes on one of these. Some raptor action. Too much to carry. Sure. And then we have uh, this guy here on the back side. Some more stuff and abilities. And finally, this last one. So you don't even have like a game board really to play on, do you? No, you do not. So this is like the game board, you know, these little things. You can play it just about anywhere. So that's pretty interesting. And then you have cases for each one of these. They can each go into a little case, their own little deck box. That's pretty neat. And then let's get to cracking these open, see what cards are in here. Some of these are worth over 20 bucks uh, for some of these cards. Isn't that nutty? 20 bucks, man. Pretty crazy. Blood Craved Paladin. He's not one of them, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Necropolis Oregent. Wow. So you got some mythic action there. Beacon of Immortality. Nice little rare. Day of Judgment. Destroying all creatures. Same thing as Wrath of God, basically, but Day of Judgment. Uh, Shielded by Faith. Vanquisher's Banner. Yeah, some of these cards are worth a pretty little penny, man. Some of these cards are worth a freaking pretty little penny. So that's really legit. Uh, even the Wrath of God is like uh, 263. Uh, cool. Vanquisher's Banner. And then you get a bunch of commons and uncommons throughout here. I don't think I need to go through all of them, but uh, enough to make yourself a little vampire deck. Whoa, I love Vampire Nighthawk. Flying and Death Touch. Really cool card. So, yeah, there you have it. And then a whole bunch of lands to fill it all up. Uh, Mortify. Some other spells here. Instance. Prismatic Lens. Urge to Feed. Okay. There you go. Pretty fun. Um, if I, I know there's some big ones in here. When I see them, I'm going to shout them out. So when we get to them, you guys will know right away. Uh, Adaptive Automaton. Believe it or not, 350. Un 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 unbelievable. Angris Marauders. 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 Uh, Dream Call Siren. Pretty cool. And Blatant Thievery. Each, for each opponent, gain control of target permanent that player controls. Oh, you get, oh that's not bad. I think that'd be better. Mass uh, Mutiny. Bada bang. Some more action. Shared Animosity. Very, very cool card. This one's at 236. A little few pennies on the board there, you know. Uh, Dire Fleet uh, Hoarder. And then we go into a bunch of commons, uncommons. Uh, this is your typical pirate build right here um, from Rivals of Ixalan. Everyone gets the same kind of uh, builds. If they don't mix them up or nothing, you get, oh, wow, three copies? Four copies. Nice. They make a whole like full playset there. Just get your little... Uh, your little uh, Deck going to get your, uh, yeah. This will be fun to play, actually. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this will be fun to play. Um, pirates. Uh, what else we got? I'm not going to open the tokens. We will crack open Merfolk Sovereign. See what cards are in here. People don't realize the cards that are in these are playable, you know, and some of them are exclusive just to this product, I'm pretty sure. Merfolk Sovereign. Soul of the Harvest. There you go. Some Waker. Aether Gale. Threads of Disloyalty. Enchanted, enchant creature with converted mana cost two or less. You control enchanted creature. That's cool. Time Warp. Bam! There's a card worth a few pennies. That's like eight bucks. Uh, even that Blatant Thievery was four dollars. So, um, Time Warp is at twelve nineteen. Pretty sweet card. Air Elemental. And there's a bunch of commons on commons in here. I don't think we think it's necessary to even sort through these uh, in the end. Uh, there you go. Concentrate. 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 Rancor is a good card on summon. Bow flight. Pretty freaking cool. And we got one more to go through. This one probably has the big dog, our Aggravated Assault, which is what I'm looking for. Where is Aggravated Assault? Better be up in here. Quick Silver Amulet, anyone? Regasaur Alpha. Fun dinosaur to play with. Aggravated Assault. Bam. This thing is 2287. For five untap all creatures you control, after this main phase, there is an additional combat phase, followed by an additional main phase. Activates ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. Holy crap. Pretty freaking legit, man. So that can get out of control. Disaster Radius, Hunter's Prowess, Quicksilver, Am Quicksilver Amulet. That's like an $8 card in this set. Pretty nuts. Even the Path to Exile in this set is $5.36. Get out of here. I know. It's that crazy, man. Whole bunch of dinosaurs in here. Uh, really neat. Good, some good value. People don't realize. 
uh, Dinosaur Stampede. Lightning Helix. The Lightning Helix, I think, is two bucks. There's your four dollar uh, or five dollar Path to Exile. Just because it has, it's, it's just a rare card. There's not many printings of it. Prey Upon, Prismatic Lens, Savage Stomp. Really, really cool. Wild Wilderness. So, yeah. Um, to play the game, yeah. You guys have it summed up in a nutshell there. That's how you do it. <laughs> uh, it tells you about quests, sites, map tiles, event tiles. Uh, let, 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 let go this really quick. Building the map. If anyone's really interested, let's stick around. Uh, I'll go over it. Choosing a tribe. Each player chooses one of the four tribes. Cool. Um, you also need a way to track your life total. Set aside the tokens, yada, yada. Building the map. There you go. Map tiles affect gameplay in exciting ways. Follow these steps to build the map. Find the six-cost map tile named Araska, the, the Golden City, and set it aside. Two, separate the other map tiles into three piles. One cost, three cost, and six cost. Three, shuffle each pile face down. Four, without turning over the tiles, Choose 16 one cost, 10 three cost, and three six cost tiles. Set the rest aside. You won't be using them this time. Shuffle Araska, the golden city, into the pile of six cost tiles. Arrange the tiles in the center of the table as shown in the diagram below. Just like so. Okay. Playing the game. It's a free for all. Awesome, man. Uh, it's a free for all. If all players are familiar with magic, choose a starting player at random. Otherwise, the most seasoned adventurer should go first, right? So other people can catch up and learn how to play. Uh, Two-player games, it explains. The starting player skips his or her first draw step, and each player may take a mulligan to six cards, as in a regular game of magic. Three or four player games. The starting player draws a card on his or her turn, and each player's first mulligan draws a new opponent, uh, a new opening hand of seven cards rather than six. Subsequent mulligans reduce your opening hand by one card as normal. You can attack multiple opponents in the same combat. Anytime a card refers to an opponent, it means any of the other players, even if you've made a temporary pact with them. For you pact boys out and girls out there playing politics. Uh, then we have Discovering the Map. Map tiles bring the game to different locations. Across Ixalan, you can discover one tile on each of your turns, but only at a time when you could cast a sorcery. Discovering a tile reveals its bonus. Some bonuses are one-time effects, while others last for the entire game. The inner jungles of Ixalan conceal the many powerful secrets, but you can't jump ahead to the most expensive tiles at the center of the map. A map tile can't be discovered if it's connected to another map tile with a lower cost. See diagram below. There you have it. Uh, to discover a tile, pay its cost, one, three, or six mana, turn the tile face up, and see what happens. Okay. This three-cost tile can be discovered because there are no one-cost tiles connected to it. There is still one three-cost tile. Oops, there is still one three-cost tile connected to the six-cost tile, so it can't be discovered yet. Okay. Map tiles. Here we go. There are three kinds of tiles. Events. Uh, you have um, broadside ass assault. Can't take it with you, quest, and shh. Uh, well, you have event, quest, and sight. <laughs> Events. Event tiles have an immediate effect uh, and are removed from play after they resolve. While even events cannot be encountered, cannot be countered, players can respond to them by casting instants or activating abilities. Quests. Quest tiles reward you when certain in-game conditions are met. When you discover a quest, place, in, place it face up in front of you. Once a quest is complete, the quest tile is removed from play. Sights. Sight tiles are placed in front of the player. Each, uh, each has an ongoing effect that immediately starts affecting the game. Sight tiles can be conquered. If one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to an opponent, even if that damage would knock that player out of the game. You may take one of that opponent's sight tiles for yourself. Only one sight can be conquered each combat. If a player leaves the game, all quest and sight tiles in front of that player are removed from the game. If any of that player's tiles affect or uh, waiting to resolve, they cease to exist and have no effect. Scouting ahead. Each player has one scout marker. 
if you discover a tile on your turn, you may then place your scout marker on any three cost or six cost tile that becomes available as a result. Your scout marker reserves a map tile for you until your next turn. You don't necessarily have to discover that tile on your next turn, but no other player may discover it until then. Remove your scout marker at the beginning of your next turn. Once you discover this one cost tile, the three cost tile above it will become available. Winning the game. When all your opponents have been defeated, you have conquered Ixalan, and you win the game. There you go. Pretty cool. An Explorer's Guide to Ixalan. Here are some tips to keep in mind when playing. None of the map tiles have negative effects for the person who discovers them. Discovering tiles is exciting and can give you great bonuses, but don't forget to cast the spells in your, key, in your hand. Creatures are key in multiplayer games. Remember that sites are conquerable. If one of your opponents has one, you may want to attack that player. If you have one, your opponents are probably thinking the same thing. You may take temporary truces and alliances during the game, but ultimately, you're on your own. How to score your game point? Uh, how to store your game components? Tells you all right there. There you go. That's all she wrote, baby. Pretty freaking cool. Fun little game to play. And again, there's the deck. Uh, all the deck lists. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope maybe you go out and get this. Sometimes you can find it for as cheap as 20 bucks. sometimes upwards of 70 It all really freaking depends. Um, but yeah, the average price right now for this is 50 plus $56. It has gone up in price because some of the cards inside have gone up in price. But these things can tend to be found, like, you know, at um, even like rummage sales and stuff, you know, and people don't realize what they got. So keep an eye out for them. Uh, leave a like and uh, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know if you played any games like this or something along these lines. I'd like to hear from you. Joy Moss, Bad Boy MTG, Skittish.